My name is Chai Ding Wen, a master candidate of software system engineering at DPTS. Today, I would like to present my design, my software architecture design of a system which is called e recruitment system. And here is the topic that I am going to cover in this video. I first start with the overview of software architecture and then follow by the background of my system and the name is stakeholder and stakeholder involved in the system, in the recruitment system and quality attribute scenario with tactic is approximately about 23 scenario and then from that 23 quality attribute scenario I choose some tactic some critical quality attribute to start designing the architecture and then after selecting the critical attribute I got my the integrated design and lastly I will present I will analyze that design ok now let's start with the overview, overview. what is architecture or uh, software architecture well software architecture um, as the size of the software system increases algorithm and the data structure of computation itself could not deal with the designing of that kind of system. We need more involvement, more effort to design an effective system. And so software architecture benefits many stakeholders. Software architecture is the depiction of the system that's all how the system will be hacked and it will cover like different view different point of view for different stakeholders and it is a blueprint which serves for system and project development and work assignment for design and implementation team and then the system quality such as performance, modifiability, security, usability, scalability, reliability and so on because there are like hundreds of quality attributes for the software system I could not cover it and so the software architecture is really useful for like a large software system development and now let's start with the background of my system it is called e recruitment system it is a real time web web system which we use portal to access on the web browsers and it allows individuals out of the organization to register and search for the job and where the job, those jobs come from? That is from the internal staff of the organization. And so the system also allows organizations to manage this job posting, internal staff, recruiting process, and also manage the system itself. So the system is not that small and it does have many stakeholders. And here, I would like to present some of the main stakeholders of the system. They are internal users, internal users, system developer, system administrator, and infrastructure and project manager. And now let me briefly describe each of the stakeholders. Well, I do not have much time, so just briefly describe who we are. If let's start with internal user, they are all those users but within the organization such as the field manager, the manager in the field side, 
in the area of the whole country. And the home manager, those manager involving in the home country, the personnel and the recruiter it could be the one who posts the job, the one who conduct the interview, the one who posts the questionnaire and so on. And they use the system for posting sorting applications and making appointment with applicant who apply for the job and managing other recruitment processes and also they could manage the system how the system should work how it should display and so on and they require the system that process data actuality well data is quite important in this system so we need to process it accurately and securely without any unauthorized modifying and quickly user with user friendly graphic user interface and the system should be portable and synchronous and be able to synchronize with other system. Another type of user is internal user. They are those out of the organization itself and why they need to use the system? They use the system in order to register themselves to the system. After that, they could search for the job and apply for the job. And their requirement for from the system are that they need to process their transaction accurately. It's not far different from internal users. Also, they want the system to process uh, securely because they might not other people other than the company itself to get their personal data, their preference. And they want the system to process quickly. Uh, they might not want to wait for the system to process. And the system also need to have user friendly graphic user interface. The other group of stakeholders is system developer. They are involved in developing, fixing and upgrading the system. And also they need the system to be highly structured so that it is easy for them to fit the error to develop the system to upgrade and define the error. Another group of stakeholders is system administrator. They are those people in charge of monitoring the system both performance and functionality and configuring some part of the system. And what they want from the system is that they need the system to be error free, portable, secure, and also have some good user interface though they do not require as, as nice as those it, uh, ethanol and ethanol users they are the end because the system administrator need to compete the system is uh, some now and now let's move to infrastructure infrastructure are those people working with the back end of the system such as monitoring the network maintain the network, database, performance, and resource allocation such as CPU usage, memory usage. And they require a system that is highly structured because they need to manage it properly. If the system is not highly structured, it's difficult for them to manage fixing one part by the other part. And uh, Again, the system should be independent of other modules. It could have least independence and consume the least resources so the system could work efficiently. And the last stakeholder is project manager. It is, this is the one who monitor and control the project progress and development, both budget resource and time scale. 
from the requirement analysis until the successful deployment of the system. And it's usually that the system could be developed in software, uses the least resource and the less budget, and the system could be usable, understandable by the user, which requires the least or could be no planning in order to use. And the system should also be extendable, modifiable in the future because the software system need, might need to be modified in the future, it's not the end for that. Well, now let's go to quality attribute scenario and technique. Well, actually, I have already rest in quality attribute scenario, I have like 40 in total because in this part of the project, I need to have like five scenario for each quality attribute and there are total there are eight quality attribute in total so there are 40 quality attribute scenario but it's much to present here so I just have it with tactics so like maybe three scenario each for each quality attribute with present with tactics here. So the quality attribute is a measurable and testable property of the system and it is used to indicate how well the system satisfies the need of each stakeholder. And quality attribute scenario is quality attribute requirement specific to each to each quality attribute and it consists of six parts source source is the entity that generates the stimulus and then the stimulus is the condition that need to be cons considered when it arrives at a system such as an event and next one is environment environment is the set of circumstances or conditions in which this scenario takes place could be normal operation or peak period so on and artifact the first one artifact is mm, some artifact may be stimulated in the system and this may be involved in the whole system or piece of the system, part of the system. And after that, artifact is simulated, response does occur, the activity after the arrival of the stimulus. And uh, the last point is response measure. The response measure is the measure of how the response occurs. And it should so the response should be measurable in terms of time requirement and it could be tested. Okay, now let's start with availability quality attribute. Availability is referred to the with concern with the system failure and associated with the consequences. So availability is somehow referred to the is likely the usability of the system but usability is another quality attribute ok let's start with some scenario I have three here the first one this one is people looking for a job is it an all user and stimulus those people search for the job by and not only one user at a time is, is many users and the other fact is the value of the database and the environment is doing the peak period and respond the response is to notify the administrator and the response is, is immediate response when the failure occur the system need to report to the administrator immediately and the, te the tactic is a subject because the failure does not 
have come frequently, like every minute, every second, or every hour. So we just use the exception tactic to get it, to track it, when and after. And then the next scenario is digital monitor, it's the source, similar, uploading large files, artifact is the system, environment, normal operation, and notify the failure of the system if any failure of the Adobe. And the technique is removal from service. If any problem happen, need to remove that from the service. So it does not affect the other consequence. And the last scenario for availability and quality attribute is multiple internal user is the source. And stimulus, we have those user accessing candidate information. Artifact is the database based of in the system. And environment should be during the peak period. And respond with direct to backup server and notify the administrator. When many user access to that same piece of information, we need to divide the task. So we somehow need the system to access to the backup there. And also notify the administrator to take any action concerning this. And the response measure may be probably just delay in a few seconds other than the average time. And the technique could be active redundancy, we could access more and more sources of the data at a time. Okay, now we are going to the testability quality attribute. The refer to the ESP, the user, the software can be made to demonstrate its faults through testing. So, to be developer or tester has, could test the system. So, here I also have three quality scenarios. Three scenario. The first one, the source is some system administrator to check the memory and CPU usage at the backend system and the environment is production the run environment and the response the system show the resource utilization and response measure the resource utilization should display in percentage by 90% of the total CPU, 50% of the memory, and the technique is building monitor to display those usage. The second scenario is unique developers and the email from the system, the identified system service development at development time, and the system could deliver the email independent, independent of other modules. And the email is then currently in 5 minutes, less than 5 minutes. And the technique is to specialize access interfaces for their email. And another source the system administrator assign another scenario, sorry. The system administrator is the source to assign the role to the user and the backend system. And it is during runtime or the lesson time. And the response user role are updated and user role are updated in less than 5 minutes the, the clicking object and also use the building function uh, building monitor for the technique the next quality attribute is just to really the easiness of the user to use the system without requiring any training or require less training. And here I have three scenarios also. First one person applying for a job is not user again, search for a job in the system at runtime, production time. And the response provides a case when user input the test could be like name of the job or something else. And response measure the number of incorrect suggestions. 
could be when the system suggests the incorrect word, the user just try typing again so that we need to count it. And the technique, we have separate user interface for the user. The second scenario is the source from the internal user who email to the candidate via the system to inform the information. And the other thing is the system doing runtime and response is a user interface is open for users to send email and subject description. So we need A response is uh, the ability of the system to send email with any attachment. And it supports user initiative such as console. Just press save and within 5 or 10 seconds we could cancel it. And the last scenario is internal user provides user suggestion and system and runtime for the environment and respond can selection list for the job type. It does not have many job type, for example, around 10. So we can have it in a list. So user can just select from the list. We do not need 10 or so. And respond is also be the number of incorrect suggestions when there are more type of job increase. And the package is the task model which is involved in the task. The next one is security quality review is a measure of the system ability to resist unauthorized access and still provide the service to let implement user. Here I have three scenarios the same. The first one is unauthenticated users try to log into the system, the artifact is system service within normal operation. Respond user is long after three login failure. And system log the user who failed to log in. And the package here we need to authenticate the user to access in the system to prevent it. This second one is unauthorized user the source who try to update the job and the artifact is data in the system with and this scenario is with the normal operation and the response is modified to the data is not allowed. Response is that the data the job is not changed. And the technique we need to use both. First one is authenticate which we already we also introduce in the first scenario. We need to authenticate user better to allow the user to log into the system. And the second technique is to authorize the user, meaning to allow any action within the system after authentication. The last scenario is user renewal of service. And if that is the system to environment during the peak period, the system provides user service as user resistant to too many requests in intrusion detection is detected. Well, it would just go quicker. The next is performance quality attribute. I have three scenarios here. And the technique for the first one is to increase computation efficiency. This is for the Scenario of data loading. And the second tactic for the second scenario is scheduling the scheduling policy. That is to email the candidate within any period of time. Here, finally. And the third scenario, the tactic that I use is maintain a lot of the to allow the user search for the candidate in the peak period. Well, the other one is modifiability. This one, I also have three scenarios to present. The first one, I use the technique use intermediary. That is for modification. With intermediary, we can just modify the system without effect to 
many other modules independent of the other module. And the second scenario is maintain existing interface that is for the scenario that internal user will add the topic temporary. And the last tactic is generalize module. That is to allow user to create the question in easily and they still allow for modifiability because we generalize some module and so we can use it without like to AI. Reliability is another quality attribute. And here I have some technique I can subset. Graceful degradation and concurrency control. I have some action could happen concurrently. Scalability is the last quality attribute. Is this the ability of software to handle growing amount of work and I have two. Scenario for this first one is to increase capacity to deal with the increasing amount of data in the system. And the second one is parallelization to deal with the increase in the number of users in the system. Okay, now here is how I choose the critical quality attribute. In total, as we have present, I have present key is 23 scenario, but I pick only those scenario that I will do it. Here I I score all the scenario based on a 12 point base. And this column is for BV business value and this is the technical value. And I have the first, well, the first scenario that I score. Similar success in candidate information, respond to read back to backup server and notify the end state. I just summarized this table so I can do one. And the technique is active redundancy. And in active redundancy here, I give the value 3 to business value because where well because those in business like to have in the business stakeholder they would like to have a good performance system they might not do bad because it was their turn and it's annoying and technical value is even higher for active redundancy because like having this technique they could reduce some other work for their performance though it costs up higher but that would affect those in business stakeholder and the second scenario is an email from the system system could Deliver the email to target the receiver independent of other module. The target is specialized success interface. The business value do not I do not give any point because I think those in business stakeholder might not care how this works. But the technical point mean I give it three points because specialized access interface is my affecting like modifiability and quality attribute is quite important affect the other module and the other quality attribute as well. And the third one I give free to business value for the techniques of what you say the area of console. So in the business value part the Think this is useful because they might make mistake in the middle of the process and they could consult it to prevent another mistake and a misunderstanding. But technical value do not value this much, so I give zero. And the 
false one is updated in job description and detective is also indicated and optimized. The user value and the seek point to business value a zero to making more value. Business value want to restrict data from accessing and from modifying because some data are quite sensitive. But technical value, they think this might affect the performance and other things. So they do not care much. The last one is the use intermediary tactic. I give four points to technical value. Because the technical technician want to have intermediary, such as developer. So they do not have much problem when modifying the system. Well, the summary result is from the summation between the business value and the technical value. The first one get A and 3, 3, 6, 4. So here I choose 3 tactic to design, the integrated design. So the first one I choose active redundancy A and then followed by authenticate and optimize user active C and use intermediary for the last one. Okay, study integrated design. The first round is availability which it involves active redundancy and the technique I use is not active redundancy alone and also use include steady synchronization checkpoint and rollback of the system transaction having like many processes in one transaction to prevent some kind of problem and here the one I got for the first hypertension well, active redundancy, we could use red client technique in the data service to supply the database server. And also, I, the transaction service roadmap, so on, it just inside this. And here I use web server in the middle and app server to communicate between the database server to the web server and I use load balancer to communicate with the web server and this is the user part, user interaction part the middle is the business rule and application and the last one is the data service we have in provide ok, the next integrated design is the second round that is I focus more on security to implement over the previous one. The technique I use is authenticate user and then authorize user and intrusion detection and audit trap to have some trap for its kind of block file that we use to trace for some failure, some intrusion and also limit access. And to implement over the previous one, I used some kind of router and firewall access to limit the access and restrict the security. And here I apply the authenticate in the web server and authorize in application server to allow some type of user only for some type of application. And I still use great file for the surface. It's quite similar to the previous one. Just implement HTTPS and authenticate and authorization here. The next one is the third round that is to focus more on modifiability quality attribute. The technique I use is I include use intermediary limit post for some anticipate expected change and also include configuration part and here what I have more is the view so I do have configuration part for the view and it is the intermediary between the application server and the 
database server, not the base part. And so it allows the easiness of modifying the, modifying the system. And this is the final design of the final architecture of a system that think and should design this way. Okay, let's go to the analysis of design. The final architecture is quite good because it could meet many stakeholders, one such as modifiability, might meet the developer, and the performance and security for the user and some stakeholders like project manager but it is quite expensive to implement but and all these and the performance is somehow not so good let's go back to the previous design we can see that we need to use firewall we need to use to authenticate and authorize and we have like many higher so the performance is yeah, might be ready and talking about the cost. It would cost more and it takes more time to design, to implement, to test. And that's the drawback of most to the project manager because he might not want this. But somehow it's a must because the system has many users and those need this is quite important for them and as I have already I mentioned in the report that not every, no system could meet all the requirements all the quality to you and last I could not forget about this reference this document Without this, I could not have in such a work because I read mainly on the first one. It is from the last software architecture and practice. I got many information from this, and I could not sign in the slides. My slides, so I just give you it here. And the second to the most is software system architecture from Kosansky. It's to some kind of and also some other paper for reliability, scalability, quality attribute. Okay, thank you very much for.